Hey there, YouTube. Um, hold up a second. Very sorry about uh, extreme lack of updates recently. Um, I've been extremely busy with. Uh, I got a job over the summer and uh, working eight-hour days uh, isn't really the ideal uh, way to get stuff done in this kind of uh, hobby. But I did get a week off to spend with my cousin. He was down for a couple of days and I did get some stuff done um, Warhammer and non-Warhammer related uh, Gen Con is this Thursday so if you're going message me if you'd like to meet up uh, certainly I can do that but uh, yeah I got my hair cut pretty short it's all messed up uh, I was laying down and I just woke up so yeah I got the hair cut uh, doing a little bit of soccer conditioning uh, for school. I usually come home and sleep after that and then go to work. So I don't really get a lot of stuff done. But a couple new things. I like to play Xbox Live. I do have Xbox Live now. Uh, finally got enough money to get it. The internet and all that stuff. So message me if you want to play a game or something. Um, got a couple. Nice ones. Then, uh, so yeah, Gen Con is Thursday. Hopefully I will be going. Um, I have a free pass, hopefully, waiting for me. Um, one of my mom's co-workers, her husband, is, has a booth there. I guess they run, like, I think it's the True Dungeon, I want to say it is. But it's, uh, it's a real nice, uh, little thing they do there. But he's going to try to give me a four-day badge. But I have made enough money. I don't really need it. So either way, I'm going to try to go at least one day. Um, I'm really looking to get more videos for you guys. Because last Gen Con, I had like three videos. Uh, Terrain Holic was there. He got a video of me, but I didn't get a video of him. Um, I don't think he's going this year. I think he's going somewhere else. But uh, yeah, anyway, so... We tried to get, or I'm going to try to get as many videos. I want to get uh, some companies, I want to do some reviews on their products. There are a lot of littler companies not many people know about. Like they only go around at these uh, uh, conventions and sell their stuff. And I'd like to get their names out there uh, to help their business. Uh, some of the products are great that they sell. Um, and it just, it'll be a real, uh, interesting, uh, adventure, I guess you can call it, to see who shows up this time, uh, usually Romeo from Battle Foam is there, uh, great product, you guys should know about it, um, who else, Gale Force 9 always has a table, probably your press, I believe you had a table last year, um, no Forge World or Games Workshop uh, representation. There are, there's a, I want to say it's, oh, the War Store has their own little place, and I always like visiting there because the guys are always real fun and great uh, people to hang around with. Um, and then, I can't remember the name, but it's the, uh, I call it the Poor Man's 40K thing. It's, I actually like it better because you don't have to buy the box sets. Um, it's really cool. It's just bits, like they have these uh, two by three uh, bins, like that thick, uh, full of different, you've got like Space Marine Guard, all this stuff, and they're really cheap, it's like a dollar a fig, and they've got all these bits and everything, but the coolest thing I ever, or I see there every year are armor cast titans, uh, they have all kinds of armor cast stuff actually, I think they had a uh, Eldar grav tank. It was, it was crazy looking. The thing was like four pounds. Um, but that is what I like to uh, get is some of the older stuff. I got a, I think, second edition, third edition, Space Wolf Codex. Uh, they have all these old stuff. that It will be great collectibles. So I like to get uh, some of that each year. Um, there's always the little LARPing uh, things, uh, the foam swords and all that. They've got Hero Clicks, the little 
guys that click at the bottom. I never got into those. But uh, they've got those. D&D &D has a huge, I don't know like what the company is or whatever that sells all these, but it's usually in a giant square on the main exhibit hall. And there's like four different squares. And it's those cases that have the glass top. They sometimes like cards in them. But you lift it up and it's just full of D&D &D miniatures. They have, I'm trying to think what they, uh, all kinds of children oriented games like bak Bakugan or something like that. A whole bunch of uh, Japanese toys you can get in Target or whatever. They're real cheap here. Um, oh, uh, Armorcast has their own booth also. At least they did last year. Uh, and I didn't get anything from there because I spent it all at this other place, I guess. It was where I met uh, Terrainaholic is where we met up. Um, they were at a five for five deal or whatever, and he was buying um, Starship Troopers miniatures, and I was looking at the same stuff. But we were gonna meet up that year, and that's where I found him. But I was buying Starship Troopers for Guard and Tyranids, and then I found Battlefield Evolution by the Montgomery. Whatever the video I made of that desert theme board, which I need to show you guys the finished. I think it's in my basement, but I've uh, been really lazy. And uh, so, yeah, it, it's great deals. Uh, video games also, they have. Uh, uh, last year was more oriented towards uh, multiplayer online games. The year before that, I believe, is when they had the StarCraft beta and all that stuff. Who knows what will be this year? Maybe Reach beta? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Uh, I just, I don't really look into it. I want it to be a big surprise. Um, but, what else? They, last year, one of the cool things was, I um, think it was Battletech had their own video game, and it was like these little pods you'd go in, and it was this huge, you have their little handles. I didn't do it because the line was too long, but just amazing uh, what they were turning into. And then another cool thing, if you're into the collectible stuff, they have an auction, um, or they auction off old D&D &D stuff, all kinds of stuff. But I got a old, I'm trying to think of the guy's name, they're from Star Trek, they've got these big heads, almost look like butts in the back, um, my dad's a big Star Trek fan, so I got him that, and it was only like 10 bucks, I think, but, uh, great, great collectible stuff, um, a lot of old 40k stuff, I was surprised they had the, uh, not really old, but the Fortress or whatever, then bits and pieces, I thought about buying it, and I don't know, never play anything with this, so I didn't, but great deals on everything. Just if if you don't want to buy the four day pass, just buy the one day pass. It's like forty bucks, and Sunday it's like twenty or something uh, ridiculously cheap. But uh, just go there, and the bargains are great. If you've never played any games or you want to get into some new games, get the cheap pass and just go check out some new games. Uh, they always have demonstrations. Uh, you can go in some of the playing halls, and they've got great um, tournaments going on. The guys that are never mean or anything. Um, the only, like, the thing that I would say I would love to see Gen Con go for is more 40k. I think they had one tournament, and I don't know if Train Hall would put a video up. It was a huge apocalypse battle, and I'm pretty sure that was it. But I can see why people don't want to have that. Um, there were a lot of new games I was introduced to that I'd never heard of, but they were having like four or five different rooms for this one uh, type of game, and none of the tables were being used. So I would love for more people to come out, uh, the gaming people around uh, Indianapolis and really the Midwest, to host a tournament or host something, because there's really nothing. I thought about doing it, I just don't have... Uh, I don't have the time this year, but I would love to do something. So that's really the only thing I would say. Um, so before I run out of time, uh, yeah, it was just an update video saying I'm still around. I've just been lazy, and uh, I will once I get back in town, back down to Indianapolis, I'll show you the stuff I've been doing. But yeah, I'm up here I'm up in Culver. It's near, I guess, Chicago is the next biggest city. Um, but a real nice uh, little town where I've been working part-time and I go back down and work there. So yeah, anyway, okay.